Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Crate with Linda. So it is Saturday, guys, and I'm coming on because I'm doing a what's for dinner. Wasn't sure if I was going to make it on today, but I feel a little bit better. Just trying to move through life. I don't freaking know. I don't know. So anyway, we have to eat, so um, I feel good enough to, to um, video right now at this moment. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to be making... Um, chicken fajitas for Frankie's birthday dinner. This is what he chose. He loves this meal. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to get started um, cutting up the peppers and the onions. I guess I'll do the peppers first. I'm not going to use all these peppers. Um, but I have ones that are in here already that will be in here for a while. So I'm going to start with those first. I'm pretty sure these are the ones, right? Yeah, these are the ones. Let me set a date. Does it have a date? No, it doesn't have a date. It doesn't matter, though. All right. Let's get... Howdy! Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, everybody, for all my supporters that watch and that like and share and everything and subscribe. I, I so, so appreciate it. Thank you so much to the people. The, an extra thanks to those people who have um, did the super thanks. I so, so appreciate it. My family super appreciates it. And a little bit goes such a long way. And we so I, I'm so thankful and grateful for all of you. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I just want to know, want you to know, we appreciate it so, so much. Thank you. Mm. I just wanted to make sure I said that. People are so generous, even in bad times. They really are. I'm very lucky, very lucky and grateful. All right, let's start. Cutting these up. Looks like we made it. Look how far we come, baby. Much of the long way. And we get this someday. So sometimes I make this in the oven, sometimes I make it on the stove. I'm just gonna make it on the stove tonight. I'm going to cut all the vegetables up first, and then we'll get the chicken cut up. And Jenny's home. She's probably going to come say hello in a few minutes. Jenny came home today because we're having cake for Frankie's birthday tomorrow, and she came home for one weekend day. So this is today. We picked up around 3 o'clock. So, yeah. So I'm happy she's home. It's always nice to see my Jennifer. And I use every part of the pepper that's fit, that's feasible. You know? This part of the pepper is usable. So why not use it so I can eat it? <laughs> Alright. Cut these up first. So 
guys. Comment down below what you guys are doing for dinner. Um, like I said, this is Frankie's meal that he picked. Every year when my kids were growing up, I used to, and I always made them a birthday meal. It was a favorite, whatever they wanted on their birthday. And whatever kind of cake they wanted or whatever. So he wanted an ice cream cake. I make ice cream cakes, but he didn't want my ice cream cake, unfortunately. He wanted one from Carvel. So I got him that one. So that's what I did. But usually, um, Julie and Benny always like me to make their ice cream cakes. I tell you, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper and you get a lot more for, for your money. But it's only one time a year, so I don't mind. So just use a sharp knife. It's important to use a sharp knife. If you don't use a sharp knife, you can, you can tend to cut yourself because you, you would think that if you used a, a, a dull knife, you wouldn't be able to cut yourself, but you can cut yourself much easier with a dull knife because it's very slippery. With a sharp knife, it just, you know, cuts. You don't have to, you, know, you gotta be careful anyway, you know, with any knife, of course, and of course sharp too, but. is off here. <sighs> Guys, I'm in there. Oh, just drop the pepper. And um, either later or tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm gonna thank, name the people that did, that did the super thanks, um, their actual names. Um, but I'm not gonna do that till later or tomorrow, because I want everybody to get a special thank you. So yeah, so grateful. So I'm so blessed. Even though it's, you know, I'm going through our rough times and we're going to struggle and it's hard and I'm a, I'm a wreck. I know that I'm, I'm still blessed. peppers up and then I'm gonna get the onions going and then I'll start with the chicken I like them thin I don't like them really thick Looks 
back and made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. I might have took a long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said, I bet they'll never make it. But just look at us moving on. Still together, still going strong. Still the one, still the one I run to. The one that I belong to. make this meal I usually make a little bit more because my son likes to have it left over and um, we're eating it also tonight so but it'll be plenty it's gonna be plenty there's gonna be plenty left over I guarantee it so he can have it the next day he's off on he's on vacation for 10 days so those peppers are so sweet guys my big pan which I love I can't fit all these in here so I'm gonna pull them all out so let's do the onions I'm glad Jen came home today because um, it was only her left in the house. Everybody left. And um, if she didn't come home today, she would have been alone until tomorrow, until some of the girls come back. A couple of them went on vacation. A couple of them went home for the weekend. So. I don't want her to be alone. I mean, she, she wouldn't be alone. The, the staff is there, but you know what I mean. There are going to be times when that's going to happen, you know, so. But she, she loves it, guys. She's so happy. 
She's having a great time. She's so happy. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so thrilled. We're so thrilled. I mean, it, it just couldn't have went any better than it did. I, I just, so, you know, with all the turmoil, there's so much good happening. I got to remember that, you know, got to remember that. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Jay said hi. Jay has said hi, Mom. I miss talking to you guys. Yeah, my mom says she missed talking to you guys. Yeah, me too. I miss you too. Aww. We'll see my you soon. My mom said hi, Anna. Oh, I didn't know Anna was there. Hey, hi, Mama. Anna. Anna. Hi. Jenny, you want to say hi? Jenny's going to say hi to everybody. Hold on one second, guys. Here she is. Hi, everybody. Tell them how, you, tell them how you're doing. Nice to see you again. You doing good? Hold on one second, Anna. Tell them how you're doing. You doing good? I'm doing good. I have the group home and everything. You love it? Yes. Well, she's happy. Right? I have food. That's all that matters. Yeah. All right. See you later, Mom. See you later. Okay. Yes, Anna Maria. Talking to her friends. I said yes, Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Some of her, uh, one of her friends, Anna Maria, have visited her, has visited her at the group home already. Um, because that friend, she used to go to program with um, before COVID, and then when COVID stopped, when you know when, when COVID started, when they went back, she um, they didn't go back the same days. And um, Jennifer doesn't go to the supplemental weekend activities anymore, which Anna does. So that's the only place she sees her now. She saw her, so now she's going to see her other, other ways. But, yeah. But it's all good. All right, so I think that's enough onion. My eyes are starting to tear. Here's my big pan. This is one of my best pans, guys. I don't use it that often anymore because, you know, I don't need a big pan like this. But sometimes I do use it just when I make some things because it's so big and spacious that I, that I love to use it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, so let's put some olive oil in it. Oh, I want to cut the garlic up. I'm going to um, cut up. I'm going to um, start sauteing these. And then I'm going to start cutting the chicken up. But let me cut some garlic. Oh, that's a lot of garlic. I don't need that much garlic. This is good here. Just give this a rough chop. And this, this kind of, um, you know, cooking and watching the video, I mean, doing the videos, it kind of keeps my mind busy and, you know, keeps me doing stuff because I'm having trouble sleeping. Like, I, 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 I've I been able to, the last couple of nights have been better. I've been able to sleep, but for some reason, at 5 o'clock in the morning, my eyeballs open and I, and I can't go back to sleep. And I lay there and I lay there and I lay there and I think and 
I'm trying to like keep the devil out of my mind when I'm laying there because sometimes he comes to tries to invade my thoughts and that's when I, I, I have issues. But so the last couple of nights I've been, the last couple of days I've been telling myself, stay away, stay away, stay away devil. Stay away. I'm not allowing him in there. He's not getting in. Hopefully. All right. Um... Let me get the olive oil. Just put a little olive oil there. Now, one thing about this pan, I love these pans. I got a pot in this way, and I got a smaller pot. These pans right here, they're very, very, very nonstick. I got them at um, TJ Maxx. Really, 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 really good, good, good pans. But I noticed you have to have them on really high because they're such, they're such a nonstick pan that if you don't put it on high, you're, if you want your stuff to get a little browned and stuff, it won't unless it's on very high. So that's what I do. So I leave it on high for a little while and then I'll, and then I'll lower it down, you know, because I don't want the stuff burning, but I want the stuff to brown. So that's what I did. But um, I forget the name of these pots. It's here somewhere, I can tell you in another time, but um, they're really, really good pots. And I've only gotten them, I've only seen them at TJ Maxx. They're not really expensive either. They're not, they're not too bad, not too bad. All right. Peppers. Um. I'm not going to put the garlic in yet. I'll put that in a minute. Get the onions in there. And I always drop things. If I, wasn't, if I didn't drop things, I wouldn't be who I am. Right? My husband always says I need to drop cloth underneath me. I think he's right. I think he's right. Guys. Now I'll just take the chicken. The, I'll sit the chicken. I'll just take the um, yeah. I'll just take the chicken ham for Jen. She doesn't like onions and peppers, so I'll make um, maybe make her um, a baked potato, maybe some broccoli or something. Now the thing is, is that I have one pepper left. Do I add it or should I not add it? I think I'm gonna leave it. All right. Get the garlic in. Really? Oh, I'm almost dropping everything. All right. Let's cut the chicken now. I'm gonna use this this um cutting board for the chicken because I use different cutting boards for different for for chicken and for um veggies I use different cutting boards. That's what I do. Oh, like I was telling you guys earlier, I did, I did um, clean um, 
organize my, my refrigerator. I love you. And I felt so good after I did it because it needed it. Now I know what I got, you know, because I really have to budget, especially with the whole new situation. Really, I was budgeting before. Now I really got it really, 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 you know. So. So now at least I know exactly what I have in there. All right. Let's get the chicken cut up. I don't know. I have more chicken in the free in the refrigerator. I don't know if I'm gonna need more. I might use another another couple of pieces. I don't know. We'll see. I usually cut them like this in strips for fajitas. But you can cut them any way you want. I'll cut them in little chunks. Just watch you don't cut your finger. Like I said, make sure you use a really sharp knife. And this knife is starting to get a little bit dull because I've been using it, so I have to sharpen it again. Resharpen it because I don't want it to. pretty sharp. Looks like we made it. I got that song in my head. Look how far we Mom, I need to tell you something. Wait, what is it about? It's about something. Should I, should I pause? Uh, yeah, pause it. I need to tell right back, guys. All right, guys. Jenny had to tell me something. Very excited. He's very excited. The peppers and onions are cooking along. So I'm going to, guys, I'm going to go over those recipes. Again, if you want me to make, try to make your recipe, just write down the, just write down the name of the recipe, not the recipe, just the name, and I'm just going to pick one off of the name. I made the corn casserole last week. It was so amazing. It was delicious. Oh, I'm the only one who ate it in my house, but you know, that's okay. Um, but yeah, whatever I make, it's going to be a small version of it. And, um, you know, unless we have it for dinner or something like that, if it's a dinner or whatever, we'll eat it, of course. Um, so yeah, so, uh, if you have a recipe you want to let me know about, let me know the name of it, and then I'll pick from the name. I like to just pick from the name, not to see the ingredients, because I just want to, like, I want, I want it to intrigue me if it really, if it really intrigues me and it, like, looks interesting and something that I enjoy that I want to do, then I'll do. So. So do that, and then um, probably, you know, the end of next week, 
I'll pick one and then we'll do it. Nice amount of chicken. It's like uh, 20 pounds of this. This is almost three pounds, a little under three pounds. Alexa, how many people does three pounds of chicken breast without the bone serve? something sir. found on the web. Three pounds of chicken breast is equivalent to about nine chicken breasts. How many people, she doesn't listen. Alexa, how many people does three pounds of chicken breast serve? It's something I found on the web. Two pounds of chicken breast is equivalent to about nine chicken breasts. That does not answer my question, but okay. Okay, Alexa. Whatever. And it was definitely not nine bre nine breasts. It was like six breasts here. Well, no, if you cut them in the, if you cut them down the middle, it was. Alexa is not answering the question properly. Question's full name is Charles Victor Sauce. What? Alexa, I think you need a vacation. I'm going to take you quick trips here and there as long as there's Wi-Fi. <laughs> you like taking quick trips as long as, as, long as there's Wi-Fi. That's a funny one. All right, see now guys, you see how that's getting brown? But it's getting a little bit too brown. So now I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna lower it and I'm gonna take this, I wanna take the um, the peppers out. I'm gonna wash my hands first. Then I'm gonna take the peppers out and then, and then I'm gonna put the meat in. Gonna lower the flame more. Get all this stuff out of here. All right. Let's lower the flame a little bit. And we'll put some more olive oil in here. and then put the chicken in it.
I think I'm going to do one more chicken breast. I think that's what I'm going to do. Higher it again, just a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna do one more chicken breast, guys. Just because he likes it left over. And not to worry about it. I wanna make sure there's enough. Cut these up. And I have plenty of chicken for a whole nother meal there. Might even be two meals, I don't know. them on a little bio there so they're not like huge All right, guys, let me wash my hands again. Little pieces of chicken here that we could use. And then we'll come over and mix that up. If you see, that's um, giving off a lot of, giving off a lot of water, which I don't know why it's not frozen, but oil and stuff. That's plenty. But trying to get it all on the bottom of the surface of the pan, you know, so it all cooks good brown. That's higher, just a little bit more. I'm gonna watch it because I don't want it to burn. Let me wash my hands. Out of here. Yeah, I'm talking to a fly. That see to get in my house that aggravates my crap out of me. This is looking good. See another thing with this pan, it's very big. It's very like so it doesn't really fit on the whole flame, so I have to constantly um move it around but that's okay because i love this freaking pan i love it it's so great for making big meals and you know oh 
לכם. It's good because all those little bits on the bottom. See all those little brown, those little brown bits? That's all flavor. All that is flavor. It's all coming off and it's all gonna seep right into the, into the chicken and to the meal, you know, to the um, peppers and onions. And, oh, it's so good and it creates that water. Oh, so yummy. So yummy. So we'll let this cook a few minutes and then we'll put everything back in. Um, I'll, oh God, his flavor has nothing. I'll put, um, should we do? I'll put fajita seasoning in, which I'll just make my own. I throw stuff in. I'm probably just gonna put some taco seasoning in it. That's basically what it is, fajita seasoning. Alexa, what's in fajita seasoning? From MagentaStreets.com. Fajita seasoning is a blend of chili powder, salt, paprika, sugar, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, and a bit of cayenne pepper. Hmm. Okay. So it's basically what's in taco seasoning. Did it say cumin? I think it's like cumin, yeah. Not gonna put any cayenne pepper in it. Because it'll be too hot. So let me see, let me go in the back and get Jenny a baked potato. All right, guys, I'm gonna start seasoning it. And then I'm gonna put the pepper, I'm gonna season the chicken with some salt. And some pepper. Um, and then I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the peppers in now. Peppers and onions back in. a baked potato for Jen. I'm going to make a little rice for my husband because he'd rather have this like as a stir fry. So um, I bought these little pouches of rice at the Dollar Tree the other day and my son tried one of them. I bought a Mexican, um, uh, um, what was it, Fiesta one, like like a Mexican one. I think it was Mexican. Um, and I bought a jasmine rice one. They're the 90 second ones and um, he said it was pretty good. And these, this one right here, so I'm going to make this for my husband. Put a little butter in it, some seasonings, and let's, we're going to taste it, see how it is, because if it's good, I'm going to go back there and buy more of those for $1.25. They're more in the store, the, um, the 90 second ones. All right, so um, I'm going to double season this a little bit because I just feel like it really needs it. So I'm going to put some, some garlic on its own. And you guys know I barely measure. I don't measure only if it's baking and I absolutely have to. <laughs> only if I absolutely have to. Onion powder. Because I'm doing this because I'm not gonna put, I don't wanna put that much um, taco seasoning in it. I'm going to, but I don't want it to be like an over amount. This is my own homemade taco seasoning. It's getting a little low I have to make it soon. I 
don't want to overdo it because sometimes I overdo it honestly with the, with the taco seasoning, with tacos, and it's just it's too much. So I'm going to be going a little bit lighter. But you want that flavor. Frankie's going to add hot stuff, hot sauce and stuff to his, so it doesn't need to be that spicy or, you know, that. And I will taste it and see how it is. Yummy. Oh, I got to make, um, Frankie likes the, the lime sour cream with this. So um, I'm going to um, put a little of that. Got to make that. That's good. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this because I think it needs some moisture. chicken broth or, you know, whatever you want, water. Water always does the job. All right, let's taste it. I just want to get a little piece of chicken and a little pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm. That's very good. Definitely needs more salt. It even needs a little bit more, um, a little bit more of the taco seasoning. I really do. Just a little bit. Just a little, this is taco seasoning, right? <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I'm going to shut this off now and let it sit with the top on it. There we go, guys. Chicken fajitas. I'll shut it off. Put the top on it. Let it sit here a minute. And I'm gonna get the um the the lime sour cream made. I'll show you how I make that. minutes in the microwave. I'm going to 
we'll make the sour cream now. And then I'll make that rice, the jasmine rice. It's a little chunky. What is the date on this? It tastes fine. Oh, where is the date? Best if used by. What does that say? July 29th. Okay. Why is it a little chunky? Oh, I don't know. That doesn't look good to me. Right? It looks like cottage cheese. Nah. I don't. I don't think so. It doesn't taste. It tastes fine to me, but I don't know. I don't like the consistency of it. Ah. Uh, hate it when things go H dead. Hate it. Chunky, it doesn't look right. It's on its last leg. It was on its last date, like I think. I think I might be seeing the date wrong too. I, th I think it said July. It might have said June. I don't know. I could have had it in there since June. It probably was because it's because it, it wouldn't be bad, I guess. Like I said, it tasted good, but I didn't like the consistency of it. So I'm not gonna. It looks like cottage cheese, is what it looks like. <sighs> Moving on. August 2023. Yeah. This better not be freaking chunky either. I'll chunk it to the moon. Now it's good. See, that's what it should look like. Now, this is how I make my lime sour cream. I started making this when I made, I got to make those for you guys. Um, I've made them on my channel before. They're, um, I make um, taco egg rolls. Oh, they're so amazing. They're so freaking good. And I, every time I made the taco egg rolls, I always made um, a lime sour cream with them. Everybody just loves dipping them in that. So now my son, he loves it. And he's like, when, when I make tacos and stuff, he wants me to make lime sour cream. So... That's what I do. So mainly what I do is uh, find a zester. I'm going to um, zest the lime, preferably without the sticker. And then I'm going to put some lime juice in it. I'm going to do this, this one. This lime is, for some reason, it's not, it's not cooperating with the, um, the vesta that I'm using. I have this one. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's better. I don't know why that one's not working for this, for this lime. It should. lime itself it doesn't I just feel like it's not it's not zesting why oh there it goes it's working a little bit better there we go it's tiring me out, guys. 
Really? It's not even like doing anything. Just fan of that. What are you doing? Mike throwing my broccoli. It's hot. I gotta put the rice in there too. Can I do it first? Yeah, this is not working. Why isn't this working? This is really annoying me. Both my zesters are not working on this freaking line. Can I get a small bowl? All right, guys. This one, for some reason, it's too soft. I think because I, I think I, you know, I loosened it first. I shouldn't have did that because that's making it not work. So we got this other one here. We'll use this one. And this is working better. It's not working great, but it's working better. Because the lime zest is really what, what really flaked. Look what I just freaking did. The lime zest is what really, you know, puts it over the top. All right, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm really done with it because I don't have the patience. The rest is going to have to be juiced. That's it. pepper in it and some garlic powder. I want you to taste this and tell me what you think if it needs any more. But I want to put some salt and pepper in it first. Mm. 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 We're a very citrusy family. We, we like things very, very citrusy. I think I should put a little cilantro in it. What do you think? If I can find it. Hallelujah. Just a little bit. Now I'll let Fendi taste it. Can I have a towel? Paper towel? No, a towel. Oh, right here. Yeah, I can't go over there. <coughs> oh, Frank, you want to say thank you to everybody? Because everybody said happy birthday to you yesterday. Thank you. Frank, he says thank you, guys. He, really, he much appreciates it. All right, let's have him taste this over here. and see what he thinks it needs anymore. I think it's good, but you never know. All right, I'll be back. So here's Jenny's, guys. I made her baked potato with broccoli, and I put some um, some shredded cheese on it, melted it, and this is what she's had. This is one of her favorite meals, the, the, her side, so I made her that today. So that's her dinner. So we're going to get our plates together, and then I'll show you my plate. All right, guys, so thanks for um, watching. Again, thank you all to... Thank you so much for all the uh, all the thank yous. Um, you guys know who you who you are. Tomorrow I'm going to mention your names. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it so so much. Our family does really 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 does. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow and I so appreciate it. And um, comment down below. Don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. Like and share. And I think I said comment down below. Comment again. You did say that. Yeah, yeah. The jasmine rice is really good. From Zell. Did you like it? Yeah. It's really good. For a buck twenty-five. It's really good. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Thanks for cheering me up. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.